Welcome back, guys. Mark hey and Freak here again. And Elke joining me again. And we have uh, Saleh versus Alesh this time from Group C. And uh, yeah, why don't you go through the uh, the classes? What so they have Alesh plan. put Mage, Druid, Warrior, and Warlock. And uh, Zalei decided to ban the Mage. Yeah. Which is, uh, yeah. And uh, Zalei brought Druid, Warrior, Paladin, and Hunter. And Alesh decided to bind the Druid. Which is uh, kind of interesting, I guess. Because usually Warlock is pretty good against Druid. If it's, uh, if yeah, it's not yeah. a handlock, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This is Zulok is pretty good, right? So, and Druid matchup is, I guess, pretty even, depending on their tech cards. So that's, and uh, yeah, I guess, like, do you think most of people play, tem play Tempo Mage or like Freeze Mage now? Right now, I think a lot of people play Freeze Mage. Yeah, just to counter other people, uh, especially in last year's standing. Um, I can see that. Yeah, so we're just waiting to jump in the game here. Yeah, because last year's standing is probably better to bring to his uh, decks are kind of hard counter a specific deck. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As opposed yeah. to like uh, just uh, decks are good overall. Yeah, for sure. Who do you think is favor though? Saleh or Alesh with this uh, lineup? Actually, I, I haven't watched them play, so I'm not so sure, but I would guess. It's really hard to see, like in last year's standing, it's really hard to like see the lineups, like what's good, especially with the bands and stuff. Yeah, it's also kind of depending which kind of like, because like a lot okay, of classes, yeah. they have a few different, I guess Druid, they don't, they have like a faster one, but mostly they have the mid-range one. Yeah, of course like both bring Warrior, or Broth Warrior, so it could be Patron, it could be Control, and Hunter control is also is very different. pretty much favored against, yeah. uh, against uh, Patron now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, but of course Patron can still win, because... Also yeah, depends what kind of hunter it is, but it looks like a face hunter. Yeah, this is this this looks like a face hunter. It could be a hybrid hunter as face well. Face hunter so. is actually really strong against the uh, warlock too. Yeah, yeah, it is for sure. But they're not playing. So in this format, if he loses with hunter, he can't play hunter anymore. Um, yeah, he, he can. Has to switch. He can? No, he can't. If if you lose the game, you have to switch. Oh, I see what you yeah. mean. Okay. So uh, yeah, and if you win the game, you have to keep your hero. Oh, okay. So yeah, so it's, it's less not that great for him that he. Facing Druid, I guess. Yeah, I mean, judging by the hand, I mean, Alesh doesn't really have a really good hand, but I mean, he does have the swipe, he does have a turn too. Yeah, Danasis is not bad because even if it, like, it kind of forces him to trade it too, yeah. it's kind of snowball, so it's pretty good. It's like a soft down because you don't really want it to have him, like, too much mana ramp to yeah, give him, like, free sure. mana if you don't kill it, right? So it kind of, like, absorbs damage. Yeah, yeah. Also, trades pretty well against. Yeah, that's, th that's what you want to do against face hunters. You trade like one for one, I guess. Like yeah. Whatever is two drop, I guess. So but I mean, Saleh has a really good hand. Yeah, he does. It's pretty hard to know what you want to play, though. Um, you could play the. I mean, no, no, no. Like, whatever you play. I think you would play the creeper. I would play the creeper. Yeah, because you can still contest it with the sergeant. Yeah, because right? yeah. you can just contest anything you want, right? And also, you get the you get the extra damage from the juggler if he's a, like in case probably mm -hmm. you want to play sergeant if he does a. Um, if he does play down as you want yeah. to sergeant, but in case he just like he power and passes, it pass you can just play juggler or. It does throw down the Darnassus Esperant, as we thought. Oh, okay, that's really good. Another one drop, so I guess he's he's for sure going for the Abusive Sergeant here. Um, I guess. What do you think? He's going to play Leper Gnome with a Worgen? Probably the Worgen, I would guess. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, he's going for the Leper Gnome. This is a really nice board that you want to swipe, but unfortunately only yeah. has three mana, so I guess we're going to see... Uh, yeah, that's why you really wanted to uh, kill the Darnassus. Yeah. Like, as soon as it gets there. Because, like, a lot of the time also, like, do it. Like, here there's a shade, but a lot of the time they don't really have many free mana cards. So it kind of makes it awkward for them. Because uh, I guess the only free mana cards really they have is, like, Savage Roar. And they don't really want Savage Roar. Yeah. Hero power. So they don't want Savage Roar. <laughs> they only hero on turn, on the turn three. And uh, the other one is a shade. So if they don't have a shade, then they kind of, like, have to float one mana and they have to hero power, which is kind of like weak tempo wise to just hero power to trade up one minion yeah absolutely yeah so it's like kind of crucial because i have a lot more four mana accounts they have like the shredder and the swipe you should be like pretty sick in that spot yeah yeah for sure i mean now he does have the swipe and he will push it to face um i guess that's why like soleil soleil obviously he predicts the swipe on turn four versus the druid so he decided to go for the weapon uh to push in the extra damage and save some minions in his hand that he can play after the swipe 
What do you think he played the Lepanom instead of the War Gun? Doesn't really matter in that spot. Mm, maybe he wants like the uh, direct damage after the swipe and uh, play a War Gun after because there's the swipe. War Gun has the stealth and he dies to a swipe, uh, uh, making like the stealth useless, uh, I guess. But yeah. I kind of like it. If you want to push for fast damage, you want to get the Leper Gnome down because it does always have the two damage value from the Death Rattle. Whereas Worgen has to attack to actually get the damage value that Face Hunter needs. Yeah, but then you couldn't swipe for the next turn though. You couldn't swipe, like, you, would, you would get like one. Oh yeah, attack, that's true. Right? He played it on I mean turn, uh, yeah, he decided to play it on turn two. Right? Yeah, so you're right. You're I right, mean, I guess yeah. it doesn't really matter. Yeah, or at this point it doesn't, but yeah, you're right. I think he maybe should have played it then because it would have received at least two damage. So yeah. Well, now it's kind of an obvious play, right? You want to drop the juggler and creeper, or do you want to save the uh, juggler for for the unleash? But they usually don't have the greatest spot to unleash. I mean, it's not yeah. like Druid is gonna have like five millions on board. But even if you play the creeper now and Worgen, next turn you can open up the creeper with jug uh, with yeah, the juggler. Maybe he wants to and do that. Um, yeah, that's a lot of knives. But on the other hand, he might just want to go face anyways. Maybe he's just gonna creeper and heal power. Yeah, looks like it. Making use of the hero power. Okay, so turn five. Uh, good turn for druids. Can drop down the uh, big taunt or even load up. Uh, big taunt is probably the best play. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Cause you already got a lot of damage. You don't have quite a bit, so. It's yeah, I mean, Alesh has he has pretty low health for turn four or turn five rather. So he needs to start pushing up those taunts. He can't really take an aggressive approach uh, it's just yet. Really tough to deal with that four six now. Yeah, it, it's really tough to deal with it now. You can get um, you can get a bunch of juggles out, and you know that a swipe is already used. So having a lot of one uh, health minions might not be that bad. I mean, he he could juggler, he could unleash, and even play a one drop probably. Leper Gnome, if he's really afraid of another swipe. Oh, you can't only do one, though. You can't only do yeah. the niche, right? Oh, my God, yes. Uh, oh, my God, you're right. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can get he can get four knives. Wow. Look at me. Six mana. You can get four knives. Pretty unlikely that it would kill the four six, but I guess yeah. you build the board, then it would force the opponent to trade it. Yeah, I mean, he does have the weapon. Uh, that works pretty nice. Oh, he's Inside not going to go for it. Maybe it's just gonna hero power then. A swipe here would be really brutal. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, this is kind of spot that you kind of have to gamble that he doesn't have it. Yeah. It's very likely that he has it. Can you see how many cards there they are? It's like 21 and he has like. Yeah, 21 and 21. So yeah, he already used one, so the chances of getting a swipe is really, really low, yeah. The odds are pretty low, but now it's pretty sick actually. It's pushing pain. Yeah. Oh, and now he can't use the Unleash either. I think uh, uh, Saleh was holding on to it to get some more value from it uh, next turn, possibly. But yeah, this is tough. I the think... Uh, yeah, he's yeah, he is. There's just no way he can... He has this yeah, he can't kill two minions, and two minions is all he needs to win. Even one minion, how much time is that? It's two, four, nine, yeah. I mean, one minion, because if he wants to clear anyways, he has to use his weapon, so... It's yeah. Yeah, and even using the weapon, he doesn't even need a Savage Sword to win. So, yeah. Yeah, it's GG. Wow, that was... That means the Hunter is not going to be played anymore by Soleil. But he does have a pretty solid lineup. He has uh, at least one more aggro deck, I think. Probably yeah, the Paladins. Because uh, the Hunter had a pretty strong start too, actually. He had a really strong start. Yeah, it did. Then that swipe down forward was just like... Clearly, it and it's just... But that shade just decided to like dictate the entire board. Lothab as well. Okay. Yeah, I actually had a pretty good curve too though. He had like Donasus to shade to swipe yeah. to uh taunt to Lothab, which is pretty strong. Okay, so first game goes to Alesh with the Druid versus Hunter. So we'll see what the next game will be. Soleil still has the warrior and paladin. Which one you would think you would do you think you would take the paladin to counter druid? Probably. Mm. Yeah, probably secret paladin is a uh, pretty good versus uh, uh, druid. Is pretty strong, yeah. Depending which version you run. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The warrior is not too bad. We saw the warrior take out the druid earlier as well. Yeah. So oh, he's actually oh, going he's for it. Yeah. 
Okay, he might Maybe have he to, wants keep to keep the paladin, I guess. Warriors. Yeah, warrior, I guess war yeah, so yeah, warrior or warlock. Because the thing is, like, if he wins with a warrior, oh no, you have to keep it. So uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, now I understand. It's a patron oh, warrior, a patron so warrior, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course, he picks it into druid. That's a that's a favorable matchup. So yeah. I wonder if what he's considering keeping. Having patrons in rage, uh, like you, you, you want to get patrons out as soon as possible versus Druid so they can't deal with it. So he might be considering just throwing away Dr. Boom and saving patron and inner rage. Because you only need the Fire War Axe for the Darnassus. And then by turn 5. Uh, mm, it's tough. Yeah, like the, the but what if you don't have another activator? It's going to suck. So like yeah, yeah. I mean, the ultimate way of getting patrons out is uh, having a death spite at turn yeah. four and yeah, activating the patrons on turn five with Inrage. Yeah, he did it. He decided to just throw away the Dr. Boom. All right. Actually, pretty good hand, too. I mean, not the best, but. Oh, oh there oh, it is. Door, that's okay. This is looking really, really good for uh, the best Sine. card he could draw. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, now he has the fire war axe for the uh, Darnassus Aspirant. Because not only yeah. can I keep it the patron, but he can clear a lot of board with it too. Yeah, like the fight is really, really strong. I mean, he can he can even decide to um, like he can kill the Shredder as well. He can kill the Darnassus Aspirant. He can kill the Shredder, and just set up really nicely for patron. Oh, he's even gonna play the um, the Shredder right off the bat. Oh. Wow, sick. He has like, all the cards. Wow, he can he can get six patrons out yeah. by turn five. Five's gonna be brutal. Yeah. From our perspective, this is this is looking like it's gonna be a win for uh, Soleil. Just from our perspective, it's anything can happen. Yeah, well, anything can happen in Hearthstone, which kind of makes it fun too, because like, yeah, you never know like which card he could top deck or like which 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 can come out of the shredder. Yeah. This is the most brutal actually when like Doom Zero comes out of Shredder. It's like, oh, <laughs> never. Sometimes it's never lucky, but sometimes if your opponent has a board, it's the best ever because <laughs> you can't even do anything. But you can't even science it because it just pops on your turn. So just like at the beginning of his turn, it's like no more board. Yeah, yeah. Doomsayer, man. <laughs> Doomsayer <laughs> allowed to sick. operate machinery. Okay, so this is looking really, really nice to slay unless. Okay. So, wild growth. Hero power. I guess he just wants to um, yeah, save up for the. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you have like six mana next turn, but this guy has nothing else to play. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not gonna keep a face. Uh, if he knows his patron, he probably wants to save the keeper to deal with some patron. If yeah. Because like, there's always gonna be some of them who have two life and one life. True. That they can clear. He doesn't know what it is yet, though. But then it kind of sucks because like, if you clear the two life one with a pa with a keeper like unless it has no more patron is the last clear then you can just make one more <laughs> with yeah, yeah, yeah. next turn so it's pretty annoying <laughs> <laughs> so we're probably gonna see a death spite come out here and um yeah next turn you can play everything with the coin right you can play a patron in a uh, in a rage and whirlwind yeah it's so sick that's six patrons there's no way a druid can deal with that with only Maybe four cards uh, yeah probably at least with no minions on board. Yeah, it's, it's gonna push it face, probably. Yeah. It's dead no matter what. And by now, Alish realizes oh, that this is a bit... Dead though. Oh, he can I mean, that's only delaying one turn. That's yeah, not yeah. a huge, huge defense, because then... Um, what could he do to kill it? I mean, he could just... If he wants to, he can uh, he can clear the board next turn. No, he can't, because Execute is gonna be 6 mana, not 5. Oh no, he can still do it. He can just attack the Lothal, right? Clear yeah, the board. Yeah. I and mean, then he probably, he probably would wait one turn. I'm yeah, yeah, you could do that. But the next turn you can play at least four patrons mm -hmm. if you want. But yeah, you're right. I think he... Maybe I'm not sure if he's going to wait or not. Yeah. Might not want to wait because he can play like four at least with the innovation will win anyways. Yeah, I mean, if if he plays Lothal, um, I mean, which he probably will. Let's see. Yeah, because he can just play unstable this turn. Make sure the uh, yeah slow down the game a bit, yeah, and then uh, pop out patrons next turn. Oh, okay. You can even play armor. You think you would trade? You would trade and pop like four patrons, or he wants to like really pop like. Oh, what? wait. How is he gonna do this? That's pretty crazy. That's just two patrons. Isn't this a bit risky? 
Yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel I'm gonna play that. Like but yeah, all he needs is a wrath. Wrath and keeper to kill that. Actually, he can. Yeah, savage roll, right? He could keep it. Into yeah, he could. He could clear it. I can't, cause. Well, he has anyway. Oh, he has anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah savage roll. Uh, yeah, he can clear it exactly. Weird, I, w I would have guessed. I would have waited one more turn probably. Yeah, because then you could. Uh, I mean. Yeah, you could have blocked that damage anyways with the. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you can. I would table. maybe just trade anywhere, like clear the board and get rid of the axe. But then, like, even if you get rid of the axe, you can still like, activate with the innovation. Yeah, you win. exactly. Then you can still and make four. If you put the good next turn, and then yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm really good at patrons, so I don't know. <laughs> and so Ooh. it's always easier to it's always easier to look at all the cards and yeah. all the board and like when you look at as an outsider, you always play better, you know. It's like kind of a like clearer mind and stuff. And yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. When you're like within the game and like focus on it, you there's things you don't see. Yeah. So it's really easy to uh, backseat game, you know. <laughs> yeah. As we're gonna see, it probably inner rage whirlwind execute here, which is really nice. And then killing off the. Um, did Arnassus as Brent with the 3 1 patron? That way he kind of wins the game already. Yeah, it's like the perfect clear, I guess. Yeah. Just Inner Rage, Whirlwind, how much mana is that? It's 3 left. He can, even, he can even play the unstable after, I think. Yeah, even as 2 executes. But. Alright, and Alex is. I mean, Alish is realizing that. Patron is back. Patron never dies. Everyone go in here. Uh, everyone in here. Okay, not really a way out now. No way out. GG. I can see. There we go. Wow, so Alice realizing yeah, that the game is really strong, I guess. Yeah. So it looks stronger than before, actually. Almost. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Patron Wire, it looks almost stronger against Druid than before. Than uh yeah, yeah, than it does. Right, because yeah. against Druid, basically all you need is just to fill the board with Patron, and they can't really deal with it. Yeah, they, like they, a lot they of the times they had like less cards to actually make the combo because they had like the you don't really yeah. need the. It's kind of useless to have the what was that the War Song and the yeah folding against Druid. It was only for the big combo or like one shot them anyways. Yeah, so exactly. Like yeah, and now you more dictate yeah. on like the board taking over the board and uh, being a bit more aggro. Yeah, really nice. So that was a less Druid deck lost against the Lay's Patron Warrior. So we're gonna see Patron versus Warlock. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so I think this must be some kind of a handlock then. Oh, it is a yeah, Dima lock actually. Victory. Yeah, handlock, Dima lock, handlock with demons, I suppose, which is really strong. Yeah, it wasn't very popular actually. Yeah, the the World Championship though. I think only Life Coach bought it. Yeah. Bought a demon, bought a demon lock. They were kind of right not to bring it because I guess all the Asian guys they were much more aggressive decks. So there was like a lot of face. True, yeah. They like the, they like the face in Asia. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a lot of face. Uh, they realized that face is the place. So yeah, uh, there was like a lot of like a face hunter, face paladin, yeah. face shaman. Face shaman is pretty sick actually. If you have like the right draw, it hurts. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it's really strong. <laughs> you start with like Mech Whopper and like the Wind Fury guy, and then like the Shredder and the Power Mace. It's like wow. Yeah, just like a half a year ago, like. A lot of people were bringing it to tournaments and uh, stuff. It's really, really fun. It's really fun to play as well, like yeah. when everything works out, because you do so much damage early. Uh, it's not very consistent, but it yeah. can punish pretty hard. If you That's true. Okay, so... Um, they're taking their sweet time here. It's keeping the Acolyte. Oh, interesting. Mm. Will you keep the Acolyte? I don't know. He might think that... He just needs to draw here. I don't know. I, I might have just like hard mulligan for like a weapon. Yeah, I probably want a weapon because I mean maybe uh, he doesn't know which kind of warlock it is uh, as well. Yeah, uh, especially if it's zoo and he has like strong turns and you don't have a weapon, it's kind of yeah. annoying. You get a lot of damage. You know. Yeah, yeah. They start with like flaming juggler and like. Yeah, I mean if you um, if the warlock is playing handlock and he plays mm -hmm. twilight um, twilight tricks, you want a death spite because you normally just slam it in. Uh, the Drake can kill it next turn. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Oh, okay. You might oh, yeah, play a Berserker. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think that people play still play it in Patron. Oh, Frothings? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People stu still do. It's uh, it's like a good three mini card, and there's not a lot of good three mini cards for uh, Warriors. Yeah. That's but yeah, it, it normally doesn't stick around too much. Uh, it's good versus Warriors. If the war I mean, uh, sorry, I mean uh, Druids. It's like I mean, it can be also good against Ago, I guess, because yeah. you can contest the board with it. Probably get good trade in. Yeah, and if it sticks, like even late game, and you get one whirlwind effect off, it's a lot of damage. 
Okay, so Alesha has a There's a molten. It's kind of hard to see from this oh perspective. Okay. Can I do anything here? I even yeah. Being a handlock with a coin is uh, somewhat awkward. Yeah, because he's definitely gonna like burn a card, and if he yeah. doesn't, he's just gonna he's gonna coin out the work for a bluff. Yeah, that's pretty good. It can't have a big bluff. He has Jaxa, so. Oh yeah, he does. That's Jaxa strong, is actually pretty strong against Patron. If you don't execute it, it's just <laughs> he can trade like five Patron. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. <laughs> I guess for it, he can get like five Patrons by himself. So yeah. that's pretty sick. <laughs> the Rax is the Patron Slayer. Yeah, uh, they have execute. Execute is kind of unfair. They shouldn't be able to execute things. That's no. Yeah, I hate execute. One mana. Kill one mana kill anything. Yeah, so kill a one health minion if you want. Oh, is he gonna kill it? It's like if Jaxus is like three fourteen, it's like one mana fourteen damage. What? Yeah, it's not fair. You face oh, Jaxus. Right, he has execute though. That's sad. Yeah, it is. It would have been funny if it stuck around for a while. Would have been annoying as well. But I guess Soleil, like the only reason Soleil opened it was because he knows he has an execute. He can take care of it next turn. Yeah. But I mean, I guess it's not that bad for uh, Alesh anyways, because he's going to have so many big threats as a handlock. He's going to yeah. have like four giants and like doom guards probably and Marganis. So it's not like he's going to run out of execute to die. <laughs> <laughs> he can't execute all the big minions that he has. And actually, like the giants are probably a bigger threat because Jaxus yeah. is really strong, but. It doesn't push damage that fast, but if you don't kill a giant in like a few turns, it's like a lot of damage. Yeah, using execute on Jaraxxus is really not that nice for Warrior because he does want to use them for uh, the giants, right? Uh, yeah, so now it's like, I mean, you can still trade the giant with both yeah, of these things, or his face, but it hurts. Yeah, it really hurts. Oh, oh okay, but so he's gonna make patrons. The thing is now with Handlock is that they can actually counter patron kind of nice if they have the AoE, if they can just like. Yeah, does he have, the have Shadow Flame? I can see so much uh, cards. It doesn't yeah, he has so many cards, but no, yeah, there's no Shadow Flame in there. There's a Twilight Drake and... Uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean, they can't do it pretty well anyways, so because the, mini the minions are also like kind of high elf, so then you can't really trade into it and get more patrons. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he but can even play... Um, let's see, he can play... Mm, does he have a Sun Fury Protector? Yeah, he can play a Drake and uh, Sun Fury too. But because we know he doesn't have any more executes. At least we know. Oh okay, he's so going for the frothing. Gonna attack. Okay, battle rage. Oh, That's some good value. value. Three cards. Yeah, it's really scary to play patrons versus handlock, but I think you have to do it pretty early. So you, uh, the more yeah. you drag it out, the more likely the warlock is to yeah, have the AoE. AoE. Yeah. This is kind of nice because um, now Alash needs like a dark bomb to kill it. Uh, is he a dark bomb? He doesn't, right? No, he doesn't. Uh, he only has a lot of minions. So it's a bit tricky. I mean, he does have the Doom Guard, but you don't really want to push that into a frothing. Um, although he might have to. He might just build up a wall here. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's an 8 3 and potential to be a, like a really, really big minion. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. Maybe just on the Drake. So he has two Sun he has Oh, he has one Sun Fury, one Argus, and one. Uh, um, one ancient watcher. Oh yeah, so he could play. Um, oh, he has two sun furies, does he? Yeah, yeah he, he has, has two. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering what that other two mana card was. Yeah, but uh, Handlock should be a pretty big favorite now if he gets a AOE right. Yeah. Because oh, there's a dark bomb. Wow, that's a really good I'll draw. Take. But he does not have the AOE, so playing patrons is actually pretty nice. Oh, and. I think he's gonna do it. But he can only get the food. He does have the boom though, he can play. Oh, he can get the boom. Right? good. He yeah. should do it. I mean, yeah. He could bait out an AoE with the boom. It's kinda scary because you see he has so many cards. He has yeah. like nine cards, right? Yeah he, has, yeah, he has nine cards. Yeah. He three has nine three. cards, so when he has nine cards, you're like, oh fuck, he probably has it. Yeah. <laughs> so th th this is probably like an attempt to. Um, Bait out some AoE. It's a it's a bit tricky though for Soleil because he can't really put the, uh, put the warlock down too low because then he will just push out molten giants and armor them up. Uh, back when Patron had the war song, it wasn't really a, an issue because then you could just play um, 
yeah, a lot of minions with the frothing and yeah. one-shot the warlock, but nowadays it doesn't work anymore, and you have to work on the board, and Handlock does a good job protecting the board. You would use one execute too, which was kind of like the easy switch with so the giant. Yeah. Because we kind of has to play... Okay, so Lothop Sun Fury, by the looks of it. It's really tricky when you have... Like, when you have ten cards in hand, you have so many choices, it's so hard to make the yeah. right one. But he wants something that does some impact on the board, and Lothep does just that. Stop some spells. Hmm. Yeah, he puts that in a tough spot, because he has a strong board, but he can't really, like, I don't know, just kind of, like... He can't really clear the board without, like, damaging. Too yeah. hard instead of too hard. I think he just has to take care of the taunts this turn, and next turn he has potential lethal with uh, Grimash if he can make his board stick. But he has to be careful with using the. He's gonna, have, he's gonna have more taunts for sure, though. But he has, to, he has to get it. Ah, ah, okay. The boom bots are a bit scary. If they go for too much damage in phase, there's gonna be a lot of. Uh, a lot of Moltens jumping out. Ow. But you almost want to because, yeah, you almost want to go like A to the face and just two more turns for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it is a tough board to deal with. Oh. What? Oh, interesting. I would have done that. Okay. Oh, okay. So you know what? Huh? So he leaves the board. Oh. Well, he didn't see any Wii last turn, so. I see, yeah. Okay, so a lot of thinking here. It's a lot of handlock cards, but no AOE. So this is really tricky. What did he draw? Is that a Malganis I see? Malganis. Yeah. Oh, weren't you uh, cosplaying yeah, Malganis? Yeah, that was Malganis. Yeah. That was Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Malganis is my favorite card. <laughs> such a nice card. Really? Yeah. I love the entrance. It's just the best. See, you were like really close looking as well. This is awesome, man. My guess was that. It was also at the BlizzCon too, because a lot of people they knew who it was too. That was pretty sick actually. Like if I do it like anywhere else, they would be like, what? Yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's more fun at like an event. Like, wow, <laughs> my god. Oh, he does decide to... Oh. Down the drake and the... Okay, ooh. Okay. So, I guess you want the death spite here. Yeah, no way away for Alesh, but... Yeah. No way for Zala either. Yeah. Oh <laughs> it's such a strong board. It's kind of hard to <laughs> have to like. He has to do like 17 damage before he can touch the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a lot. Yeah. And even when he touches the face, he needs to do a lot of burst damage yeah. right away. So he's like 35 this turn if he wants to have leader. Yeah. And even then, it's like sometimes just because uh, how it's stacked up, so you can't really. I mean, with the armor yeah. it's a little bit easier, but you can do like perfect, uh, a perfect split, I guess, of damage. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of time. Can only think about like how much damage you need exactly because just the split is different and then like you know oh it's okay I have 30 I have 37 and then like Doctor Boom you can't really like yeah yeah you have to do seven to something so it's like yeah it's a mess like up and then yeah. like you think you have little and you don't yeah <laughs> <like we're laughs> oh oh this is uh, gonna be an animation fest with the rope let's see if he manages to do the turn in time what is he doing this uh, crosshair mm, the rope is running out though. I think he managed to do what he wanted, though. So he's just breaking down the the wall of taunts that Alesh is building right now. Oh. Yeah, this is a lot of armor. They can't really put more taunts. Uh, not really, I guess. Oh yeah, Zotep, I guess. Zotep is pretty big taunt. Do you say Lothab? Oh, uh, Belcher, sorry. Oh. Belcher. Belcher, yeah, yeah, yeah. Belcher, yeah. He has Belcher and, uh, yeah. So oh, he's gonna tap. Oh, he really uh. needs that AoE. I mean, even a, um, well, a Flame Strike kind of punish him, but a Shadow Flame would be really nice for him. Oh, Hellfire, you mean? 
Yeah, a, a shadow flame. If he held fires, yeah, yeah. it would punish his ward as well. Yeah, and yeah. he won't be able to deal with the boom. But, but a shadow like flame. It can, it can just run the guy in the boom and kill everything, right? Yeah, but the taunts are in the way. So if you held fire, you have to held fire first, right? Yeah, yeah. And he kills everything except the boom. So I think a shadow flame would have been. Shadow flame would have been better. Yeah. Okay, this is tough indeed. Should probably, I don't know. What do you think he's gonna do? Oh, card that guy, I hope to get the. This is so much armor though. And the animations are the worst with these oh two yeah. uh, armor smiths. Oh, it's a big oh game. Okay, well, he can, yeah, he can deal with the uh, uh, big game hunter. That's all he needs to he do for do now. A boom, which is like, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty sick armor though. But at least, uh, at least he doesn't die. This is a weird game. How does he? Does he die? He dies actually, right? He dies actually. Let's see. Never mind, he dies. Oh, yep, yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. That's lethal. That was close. Perfect leader actually. Wow. Sick. Perfect lethal. Okay. So, Saleh takes game number three. Patron Wire is Imba. Yeah, that. Nerf Patron one time. Games. Nerf Patron, please. <laughs> <laughs> Nerfing it once won't be enough. <laughs> yeah, you have to nerf the Patron itself. Yeah. <laughs> they, they have to nerf it like, uh, let's see, like maybe two or three more nerfs, it will be like balance. We'll see. But yeah, okay. Because so. it's supposed to be like the hardest matchup, probably, right, too. Yeah. yeah luck is supposed to be the hardest counter oh. to patch on wire. It, it's, it's, a, it's a good counter. I mean, if you have the AoE, but Alice drew a lot of cards, but none of them were AoE, so. Yeah. We'll see if the yeah, uh, sick. see if the warrior can get. How many AoEs do you think he has in his deck? Three? Like two Shadow Flame and one Hell Fire? Or what did you do? Um, two Hell Fire, one Shadow Flame? Yeah, yeah, I think he, I think uh, two Hell Fire, one Shadow Flame. Actually, yeah. Maybe. It's hard oh. to tell, a lot of people play different decks. But yeah, now we have the... Uh, warrior against Warrior. Yeah, and it seems to be a mirror match. Because um, we do see the Unstable Ghoul on the but left side. I actually side. played the Unstable Ghoul in some Control Warrior too, I saw. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I've even seen Wild Pyromancer in I've some of them. I've seen some. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty good against the uh, aggro, right? Like yeah. I guess those, uh, especially because the Paladin, they don't know if you don't run the silence, I guess most of the battle is good. And True. It's pretty good against the Tractor, too, because if you start spamming the board with, like, one one life uh, minions. Right? Yeah, yeah. Then it's like, like, sometimes they get, like, four of them by turn. These have, like, Four one drops and they're going out and they're like four, four yeah, like yeah. four two one and then you put a good. It's like oh so yeah. Sad. Paladins <laughs> get so sad like ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So they always wait. I guess they want to see each other's cards. What the opponent is throwing away. Doesn't really make much of a difference, but does. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, you want to see what your opponent throws away. But it doesn't really matter to what oh you yeah want to throw away, right? Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Especially when both do it at the same time. Like, it's doesn't matter at all. Like, when would that affect your decision to change your body gun? Yeah, it, it, like if it, it doesn't really. Like, you're, you're going to keep the weapons. You're going to keep the same cards uh, for specific matchups. Anyways, right? Especially as a patron warrior. Like, here you won't. I, if you know your opponent is playing patrons well, you really want the patrons as soon as early, as soon as possible. Yeah, because you kind of want to be the first one to put them out. Yeah. It's like okay, there's a frothing, so I guess this is confirmed that Alish is also playing a patron warrior. Yeah, but Alish is in pretty bad shape because he doesn't have patron or death bite. Right? Yeah. Which is Saleh has a really <laughs> aggro. Uh, uh -oh. oh, an aggro hand, two shredders, two weapons, oh. and two patrons. Okay. Bye bye frothing. Oh, should probably go away. Da -da -da. Yeah, this doesn't have so many plays here. Yeah, it's a bit scary to. Uh, if he plays the acolyte, he might want to whirlwind it as well. I think he might just wait the turn. To maybe trigger it with um, uh, a slam or a cult. Uh, oh, I always say cult. Cruel Taskmaster. Oh. I always call it cult for some reason. I have no idea. Cult Taskmaster. Yeah, cult B. Cult. Okay, it keeps getting better. 
better and better for Saleh. So that we can protect the Shredder as well with the... Uh, oh, he didn't play it. Oh, he doesn't okay. even play it, yeah. Uh, I think he wants to use it for the patrons, to protect the patrons. Uh, seeing as he's playing against a uh, weapon class, um, an extra taunt is really nice to protect the uh, the patrons. Okay. And I think he even can afford play uh, to play out only two patrons next turn because he has a second um, patron in his hand and a second death spite. So, do you think he'll play it next turn? Probably, I would guess. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah, because he has two, we can activate it again. And then, like, because yeah. just playing it himself, it kind of like uh, takes a lot of plays out of uh, Arish because then Arish can't really do any warwing effect or like before he kills the patron, and if he has a taunt, it's not that easy to clear, I guess. Mm -hmm. okay, it's kind of a desperate turn. Uh, oh, wow, well, now for sure he's gonna play. Ouch. This is, uh, this is how dreams get crushed. And the lashes. Yeah. A bit sad. As would anyone. This is not what you want to see when you play against a patron. <coughs> Although it seems to be what you see very often. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess my matchup for that is kind of like the patron mirror is not the most. Yeah, it's uh, a lot. Kind of feels like if you get the patrons first, then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some people even tech in like brawl and stuff to. Uh oh yeah, Tice plays a brawl, I think. Oh, he does. Yeah. He did play brawl at the. Oh, in BlizzCon. At right? the water BlizzCon, he played yeah, the yeah, brawl. Yeah, yeah, brawl. Now would. Not a been too shabby. Yeah, bore with the weapons, pretty sick. <laughs> and now it's like there's nothing you can do. There's actually nothing, right? I mean, yeah, I think uh, this patron is gonna end up three owing Alice. Yeah. Oh, patron got nerfed. Technically, you almost made it stronger now. What? Yeah, you almost made it stronger. Because they just like, yeah, they bought earlier and there's only a way for the You just rebuild it. Like Switch decks, but well, at least they can't uh, kill people from. I don't mean, deal like 60 damage in a turn anymore. <laughs> yeah, 60 damage in a turn was a bit. Uh, yeah, a bit excessive, I guess. Too much, especially with no board. Yeah. It's like. But I mean, this is not too bad. I mean, you, you can counter it if you have AoE. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that actually really runs that good with the uh, Warlock. Oh, this is Duid. Hmm? Yeah, oh yeah, I mean yeah. Duid and Warlock are, pretty, are still pretty strong. Yeah, see, like yeah, Control Warrior as well, yeah. I was kind of hoping for Alesh to have um, a Control Warrior just to see the matchup. The Control Warrior should be much better too, right? Because they have two balls now. Yeah. Oh, some people actually play one. Um, yeah, because you have to fit so many things into a control warrior now, like especially when if you want to play Gaddon oh uh, yeah, yeah, and stuff, yeah, and Justicar. Mm hmm. Is there any way out here for Alice? Uh, I don't see like what card he could draw that. He can't really draw anything with the Battle Rage. Yeah, he can't do anything, right? And even if he plays Lothab, it's just gonna die to the 5 1, and uh, Soleil's just gonna spawn even more patrons. Yeah, he's gonna have 4 on next turn, and it's just like. Cast the world out of control now. Yeah, who knows? He might play, play a Brawl though. Then he has to. No, okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, this doesn't really do much at all. Just too sad. Yeah, I guess he's just holding, but now Lotep is like gonna counter anything that Alex wants to do next turn anyway too, so... Yeah, next turn he doesn't really have a play. Um, he's gonna take a lot of damage this and the next turn. I mean, even if like... I mean, imagine if Soleil wants to play a Froth thing, for example. I mean, he's probably gonna play it a Lothab. Just to be sure of like that non-existent brawl. He has to, right? Yeah. I think I think he played it. Maybe even that stable goal. 
A stable doesn't really make a lot of sense because it fills up the board, so it's just gonna be like a full board. Yeah, so you armor myself. Alright, yeah. so. That's well it. Better, we want to better wire or free zero. Or so free one for uh, that I. Yeah, free with his better wire. Pretty yeah. A tough series. Patron does it again. Alright. Yeah, Patron's pretty dominant, yeah. The thing is, like, once you get on the board, it's really hard to. Yeah. There's not many classes that can remove it. That especially if you, that. like, if you have the draws, there's, like, not much you can do. Especially, uh, like you said, in the mirror matchup, it doesn't really do much. Yeah, mirror matchup is probably the toughest because then you really can't do anything. Like, some of the decks can have ways to counter, but then, like, all your spells are going to trigger more minion for him. Yeah, you can't yeah. do anything. You're kind of, like, locked. <laughs> all right. So, that's the. That's the first game for Group C. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know uh, what the plan. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what the uh, what the next game. So. So Xixo versus Gara, the next matchup. We just heard. Oh, cool. That's you know the players. Uh, I heard of Xi I heard of both Gara yeah. is Tempo Storm, right? Yeah, and Xixo is uh, Navi. Yeah, yeah. So really good players. Yeah. Really good. So that will be an interesting game to watch. Yeah, for sure. All right. Uh, I think I need to take a break actually. Maybe a Sorry. break now. Maybe yeah, I'm going to take a break. But uh, it was great casting with you, Martin. Yeah. It was fun. And, uh, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Yeah. I think. See you guys. See you guys.